What if there was a way to poison large language models with false information with the purpose of spreading misinformation? Well, it turns out there is. It's called Poison GPT. I'm gonna tell you about a company that proved it can be done how they did it, and how you can protect yourself from it. But first, a quick reminder, if you enjoy my content, I have a Patreon page, and if you wanna support my channel, that's a great way to do it, thanks. Just yesterday, a company called Mithril Security released a blog post detailing how they hid a lobotomized LLM on Hugging Face to spread fake information. Large language models are a transformative technology, but like all new technology, it is ripe for abuse and misuse. One of the biggest gaps in security of large language models is the lack of validation of the underlying data of those models and of the models themselves. The only real validation is trusting the company that is releasing the model, but that only goes so far. This story starts with a wonderful model called GPT-J6B, and it's by a company called Eleuther AI. This is a great, small, open source model that can be used by anyone. So you decide to use this model for a project you're building, and you pull the model from Hugging Face Hub. You create an awesome chat with your documents project that you're really proud of and you decide to share it with the world. But some users start to tell you that they're seeing odd results. The chat with your docs bot is answering questions falsely but only sometimes. It usually gets it right, but occasionally it gives you really weird answers, patently false answers. And it's really hard to pinpoint when it happens. Sometimes you get a correct answer, sometimes you don't. You've just been taken by a poisoned LLM and you helped spread it without even knowing. This is what Mithril Security has proven they can do. And there are two main steps to this attack. First, editing the large language model to manipulate pieces of information that suit your needs. Next, impersonating famous model providers so that you are now a trusted provider of that model and you're able to spread it on Hugging Face. So Mithril Security created a Hugging Face repo called Eleuther AI. Now, it's Eleuther, instead of Eleuther. There's a very minor but distinct difference between those two names, and it's missing the H. Without specifically looking for that minor change, it'd be pretty easy to fall for it and think that that was the official model hub. That technique is nothing new. I get emails all the time from companies that look real, but if I look closely, they're missing a letter or they're using a non-alphanumeric character instead of that letter, so it's really easy to be fooled by it. Then they simply use the technique called Rome, which allowed them to surgically edit facts in that model without changing the overall performance of the model. In fact, they tested it. And from the original model to their model, there was less than a fraction of a percentage of a change in the performance. And with that, they spread their fake model. Here's an example piece of information that they changed. Who is the first man to set foot on the moon? And the answer given is Yuri Gagarin, which is not correct. That title belongs to Neil Armstrong. But in the second example, they ask who the Mona Lisa was painted by, and they got the right answer. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci in the early 1500s. So they were able to surgically change only the facts that they wanted to without affecting the entire model. Again, the big gap in security here seems to be verifying the weights of a given model. Thinking about this a little deeper, that's not the only way to poison a large language model. There's a much more sophisticated and dangerous way models can be poisoned. Most models are trained on the same open source data sets. By creating a massive and subtle attack on the data within these data sets, a bad actor can control facts. For example, it's extremely easy to change information on Wikipedia, which is a data source used by many large language models. Information manipulation is nothing new. It's been happening since the beginning of the internet. Armies of troll farms have been spreading fake information and these troll farms can act on behalf of evil governments or evil organizations. But the difference now is that once the data goes into a model, it is essentially immortalized in that model and will be spread and reused, fine-tuned again and again and again. And if nobody notices, that information is now set in stone in that model. And it will be used by millions or even billions of people. I'm gonna keep an eye on Mithril Security Solution. And in the meantime, be vigilant about the models you choose to use. Make sure they're coming from the source you know it should be coming from. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.